Oh, hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just observing the days of the phases of the moon and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... How many days does it take the moon to revolve around the Earth? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need your phone. Okay, so you probably think you know the answer to this, but I'm gonna prove to you that you don't know Jack, or Cindy or Lou and a couple of other people too. <laughs> okay, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna wait for the next new moon. Then you're gonna get your phone, and you're gonna snap a picture of the moon, and you're gonna keep snapping a picture of the moon until it gets back to the new moon. And check this out. Now that's so wicked cool, it only took 27 days. Now you probably thought it was going to take like 28 or 30, but it only took 27. And if we measured this even more scientifically accurate, it would only take about 29.4. Okay, so if the moon goes around the earth in 29 days, why don't our calendars have 29 days? And who came up with our calendar anyway? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Ancient people noticed that the Earth repeated four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and fall. They also noticed that the moon went through its full phase cycle three times during each season. So ancient people multiplied three moon cycles by four seasons and got a 12 lunar cycle year, or 12 months. However, since the moon goes around the Earth in 29.4 days, it's not exactly 12 months. So sometimes they would have to add an additional month or two every now and then. Julius Caesar, a Roman emperor, didn't like having to add additional months and wanted a calendar based more on the 365 days it took the Earth to go around the sun. However, it's not exactly 365 days. It's more closer to 365 and a quarter days. So 500 years later, Caesar's calendar was way off. So Pope Gregory VIII approved a calendar reform, whereby an extra day would be added every four years. However, it's not even exactly 365 and a quarter days. It's just slightly less than that. So every 300 out of 400 years, we skip a leap year. The Gregorian calendar isn't perfect, but right now it's the best calendar for keeping the days and the months lining up with the seasons of Earth. So now you know how our calendar came to be. You know, observing the moon over a few days is why science is so cool.